Hey everybody, it's Merrill, and today we're going to be metal detecting New York City's ghost town. Now, what do I mean by ghost town? Take a look at this. Arvern East is an area within New York City in the Far Rockaway section of the Borough of Queens. This area was once densely populated with beach bungalows and hotels, but has fallen into urban decay. It is an area of undeveloped, neglected beachfront land that spans from Beach 32nd Street to Beach 56th Street. I quote from the Rockaway Youth Task Force website, The land has a storied past and an uncertain future. What was once a popular summertime destination and home to many year-round residents has now become a visual reminder of what could have been. The stretch of land was developed in the late 1800s and catered to the beach-going summer crowd. However, many neighborhood hotels burned down between the turn of the century and mid-1900s, causing the area to fall into disarray. The area was bulldozed in the late 1960s, and there has been a half-century-long argument as to what to do with the land. It's a ghost town because you can see visual reminders of the past in plain view. Fire hydrants and street signs are intact. But the roads have eroded and are filled with supersized potholes, which New Yorkers like to call moon craters. And nature has almost totally reclaimed the area. Um, it is a question if it is metal detectable. But uh, on my way back to the car after uh, hunting Rockaway Beach, uh, I, w I found some interesting stuff that you're about to see and decided to call up Jonathan and see what we could find hey everybody uh, welcome to this new video i'm here with jonathan again hey. and uh basically this is what happened last time let me move the camera down um we are at arvern east which is really a ghost town i mean let, let's pan around first and uh you know this was once uh beach bungalows uh there were hotels here there's a lot of history in the land and you know, it's one of the undeveloped areas in New York. There's even dirt roads here, uh, dirt roads in New York, which blows my mind. And anyway, I decided uh, I was right by the boardwalk over there. I decided to start digging on my way back to the, the car. And I found these two signals uh, last week and I decided to call Jonathan and I'm like, uh, we got to do this. Let me make a whole video out of it. I was almost out of uh, time on my camera. And no idea what these are, but clearly you don't see stuff like this, and clearly this has been in the soil for a while. So, let's see what we get today. So right here, here's the remains of an old sidewalk. And, you know, again, we have uh, kind of dirt roads right here, right smack in the middle of New York City. As crazy as that sounds. See, I shouldn't have even turned the uh, camera off. I got a copper pipe right here, uh, right on the surface scrap metal second signal is a big ring of some sort now watch how my metal detector is skipping it's gonna beep but you hear these skipping you hear nothing that tells me that there's some iron pipes underneath because I uh, notched out iron I don't have it in all metal mode yet but uh, you know that's a sign that um, you know this was an area that people lived and, um, you know, it's also a sign I need to move it around. Look at this. Right on the surface. Right on the sur- I think that's silver. Based on the color, that is silver. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're in an old area. This is all sorts of eaten away. I'm never going to be able to tell what it is, but I can tell the metal. I'm pretty sure that that is silver. Old coin. Look at that. I'm off my game today. I left my pinpointer right in the dirt. Um, anyway, an another thing that has me really excited about this area, this is the old beachfront. So, you know, a lot of this has been, um, you know, put in artificially, um, landfilled in, um, you know, to to protect against beach erosion uh, but you know this is this is the front line of where homes were and this is where I want to start the hunt at the very least today 
So no telling what we'll find. Got a really nice signal here. Here we go. And it is, what is this? Oh, it's a Canadian penny. An old one too, okay. Yeah, that's not Queen Elizabeth. This one I'm gonna have to clean up. Yeah, that's the dude on the front. So this, uh, it's not a large one, but I'd say 1940, yeah, 1944. That's what it is. Cool. Next signal, got a quarter. This detecting's a lot like Dead Horse, where you really have to know your detector in order to decide to dig. Um, I think I have a good target here. And I might have extracted it, let's see. Yep, I have something big. Could be a can. Nope, it's another quarter. So speaking of knowing your detector, I choose to dig when I could get a target to repeat and when I can pinpoint it. I said when I could pinpoint it. This one's a little bit of a reach, but it got uh, almost three of, well, one of two credentials there. Like, it, it, I was able to repeat it. Could be that there's other stuff that's in the soil. Let's dig this exactly where it was beeping, and let's see. See the skip also? Hear that? All right, so I'm gonna stick my probe down there. Let's see what happens. So what do you do when you're not sure about a signal? You try, especially if you're in sand, you try to get it closer to the target. I'm in the right spot, but I gotta go deeper. All right, so we are about a uh, foot down and uh, I see it looks like a quarter that's uh, silver right here. So we're gonna pull this out together. Oh my God. Jonathan, look. Oh my God. This is a bucket list item. Yo, I've, it's a half. A half dollar? Silver. A barber. Oh, barber? Jesus. Holy Censored. I'm speechless. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's amazing. Oh my God, 1908, Jesus. 1908? Yeah. 1908. Ah! <laughs> Holy shnikes. You hit the jackpot, it came out nice too. Yeah. Whoa. I just found my first weedy over there, so. We're in, we're in an old area. I found yeah. an old, holy crap. We found an old uh, Canadian um, wheat scent. Oh, you did? Also, but Let me screw, see. screw like the King wheat George scent. Or? King George, yeah. And also this, but yeah. I'm thinking that it's not silver now. King George, yeah, we're in an old area, so let's. Uh, All right, yeah, let me just get this wheat penny because I just popped it out right holy. now when you called me. <laughs> That's really awesome. Uh, I'm like shell shocked right now. I was just saying to Jonathan, this is why I like the larger coil. Um, it's a trashy area, but I don't think if I had a smaller um, coil, I don't know if this would have been picked up. Yeah, I definitely would have had to pick it up. I have no doubt that this has been moving back and forth. It's in good shape, too. I'm surprised it's not more tarnished, but wow. They come up nice the... Got another signal right by. The barber half, you better believe I'm digging this one. Think I got it. 
it's tough because there's so much junk around. But <laughs> I'm taking my time on these signals now. I'm even further down in this hole, but admittedly I'm having some problems concentrating right now. I'm just overjoyed. Um, but I'm right next to where I pulled that. Maybe there's more. And I'm still getting a consistent signal, so let's see. Let me widen the hole. Here we go. It is not sure. Oh, it's old, uh, old piece of metal. Got more old surface debris. Um, you know, this tells me that the winds have been here also. So I'm gonna keep my eyes out on the surface because this is old uh, aged copper and it's been here for a while. So the wind might've blown the top layer away and that's a good thing. More interesting surface debris, circuit board. All right, let's see if we could find uh, a lawn that has not been detected. I mean, obviously the property is no longer there. It's not tick season yet. So let's go before it becomes. Yeah, we, it, the oldest area was bulldozed, but uh, if we could find, you know, that space that was uh, an untouched lawn, you know, or around the house, that's where we could really hit a gold mine. While I'm swinging, look at that uh, sign, Bay 36th Street in the distance. It, it goes to show that this was once an active street and this area is totally undeveloped. Um, you could walk right up to the beach and get parking. Might have found a nice signal here. And you got some dirt roads right over here in the area. So it's just been sitting here since the 1960s. And I suspect there's something here. Got a nice signal here. Let's see what happens. The signal was just a piece of scrap metal. Got another nice signal right off of uh, what used to be a road. And here, I feel it. Oh, what is this? Okay, we got something interesting here. It's a piece of copper maybe part of a statue i don't know we are right by this uh, street pole spray view avenue bay 36th street got another signal well i think it's just a alcohol import label surface find copper pipe old soda can you gotta dig these up to dig up the good stuff Look out in the distance, look at that subway train coming through all of this uh, post-apocalyptic New York chaos. Look at all the garbage strewn around in the distance. Interesting piece of scrap metal right here. Got, we got an old fire hydrant right in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing here. Well, more scrap metal. And I think this is the story here. You know, the bulldozers, uh, when they dozed the houses, you know, everything was kind of knocked to bits. So it's, t it, the stuff is here, obviously, but um, it, it's really tough to find. This is a interesting little knickknack. All right, we're about a foot down and going deeper. Um, seems to be a big signal. My guess is it's gonna be a soda can. You know, I always hated this stuff. Vegetable juice, come on, man. Like, foot down, look at how deep that hole is. A uh, foot and a half, maybe. You know, it's a uh, old vegetable juice can. V8. Meh. More scrap metal without the S. First call signal in a while. It is one of these old rings. Not sure what they're used for. It's not a horse ring. Maybe there was a picture that was on the inside. All right, we're on to something. It's another one of these uh, bizarre rings. And again, I learn a lot in the comments of section of the video. I'm not going to pretend I know what this is. Anybody want to venture a guess? That would be great. It seems to have something at the top. 
I'm not sure what it's for. You know it's not fun digging a foot deep beer can. Not cool. This is the oldest school can because uh, I, I know that because of the uh, pull tab on it. Um, this was the first generation of it that you had to um, uh, push in, I believe. All right, so here's my reflections so far. We have probably hunted 1% of uh, Arvern East, but all of the good signals came down by the boardwalk, at least for me, you know, and there's a dirt road that goes along the boardwalk. It could have been something that was pushed up um, by a hurricane, although that, um, that half, I, I have my doubts, that had to have come from an area like here, um, where it was beachfront. But, you know, I, point is, you know, there's a lot of junk out here. It's very junky. You have to get very lucky to find a spot. Doesn't mean we're not going to stop uh, detecting, but um, all of the good stuff is down here. And, you know, I always try to go where the signals are, and I think I'm going to um, head back down here. Closer to the boardwalk and closer to the beach. Alright, so Jonathan and I decided that, uh, you know, the go-to place that uh, it's become the go-to place is uh dead horse bay you know so we're heading over there now um, all right we are crossing the marine parkway bridge and um right over there it's partially blocked by the rail here i'll give you the camera all right yeah that's um that's barren island uh, right over there it's where i was trying to get the other day in my last video all right, so we're back. Jonathan and I are back, and uh, th this is the ultimate fail-safe. Uh, I just love coming here, and last time I was here, there was a major windstorm, and the conditions remain the same. Guys, what you got? Guys, this is a ketchup bottle. What? You know, because uh, first of all, the shape. Also, on the bottom is uh, H257. I think the H stands for Heinz, because uh, back in the day, they all came in these, uh, wow. these bottles. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're gonna go and we're gonna see what uh, what remains uncovered. Look at this, just surface finds. You just gotta look for this color. Um, it's, really it's everywhere. All sorts of good stuff. Really it's pretty thin. Got a possible crushed penny. I don't know. I see imagery over here. Piece of metal here. This place is just too awesome for words. Look at this. First signal that Jonathan dug up. Look at that buckle. Shoe buckle of some sort, perhaps? What do you think? Maybe. Yeah, I, I mean, there were a lot of shoes here, so I would assume it's a shoe buckle. That's really cool. Give it a close-up on the camera. Nice. Got another old buckle with the leather still on it. Low tide. Look at the bottles. Jonathan got something. You got a Merc? Yeah. Look at that. Sweet. Here, show the camera. Sweet. There you go, play, buddy. But... Yeah, I finally got my silver today. <laughs> Put it there. Sweet. There you Thank go. You. All right. Hopefully I get more from So here's the thing. You know, if you come here, the next time you come here, the landscape is vastly different. It's unrecognizable. Good signal here. No, very happy for Jonathan with his uh, Merc. I, I want to get back on the silver. Okay, I'm liking this. Uh, this is a old copper circular target of some sort. Looks like a tiny plate. Not sure what it's used for, but uh, found it right in the middle of this, uh, you know, low tide area. So maybe there's more round objects uh, lurking. It's an old tool of some sort. So when mudlarking, this is what I look for. Round objects like here and over here. And that tells me that coins could be nearby. Um, I know from metal detecting, round objects tend to stick together. So I'm going to spend a little extra time right in this section here. Look, here's another one. Another round object, that is. 
So this is the point, and I could walk down the beach, and I could know right... Oh, here we go. I think I have a coin. Nope, not a coin, but another round object. This is where... This is where the, uh, the round objects collect. I'll get back to you if I find anything. Another button, more objects about the weight of coins and size. Another button. Crown button. Pretty cool. Watch this. Guess I should bring my detector. Jonathan's been looking for this. Hey, Jonathan. Got something for you. Nope. No. <laughs> Even better. Wonder what it is. <gasps> Ooh, marble. There you go. Whoa. Awesome. Now I could officially say I've lost my marbles. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Look at this. This is awesome. Broken off skeleton key. Some beads. Okay, this is uh, one of my favorite finds of the day. The end broke off, but uh, still, that's pretty cool. Second marble of the day, another round object. This is where we're sticking. Two keys and a shank. <laughs> Got two more um, marble-like objects. All right, so here's what Glass Bottle Beach looks like at low tide. It's quite a sight. Ten thousand bottles would be a conservative estimate, don't you think? Oh, it's way more. <laughs> yeah, might be ten thousand in sight. Now, yeah, probably more in sight. But uh, oh man, uh, you 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 can't count this. So when I first got here, uh, I thought that uh, this was just pushed into by the sea, but this is the source of the bottles. This is a cool little one. Might have to keep this. Um, yeah, anybody looking for cool bottles, it is in this hill. And as you can see, there's metal in there. You know, if I move my detector up to it, I can find... Uh, Parts of metal, parts of old bottles, or full old bottles, that is. But yeah, this was where they did the dumping. Cool little object here. Door hinge, possibly. Yeah, it seems to be able to open and close. Obviously not anymore, but... Uh... Okay, we got silver. So this is a Merc. And it is all tarnished. Found it in this puddle right over here. Got a key too. And uh, happy. Got silver on two sites today. All right. Oh, I just found something awesome right next to the silver. We got Jonathan back here. What Look at this. That? I have no idea. I see like a flower design. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're, we've hit a hot spot right here. Sorry. Just found another coin. Cannot identify it. Gonna have to clean it up. I think it is a wheat scent. This is about two, I don't know, 12 inches away from that uh, mercury dime. Old button. Just got a nickel and a pretty cool gear. The date, I think that says 1940. Oh, and here we go. Ooh. It is a... I think this is a silver pendant. I see the Virgin Mary there. Very cool. So Jonathan and I found a hot spot. I don't know if this is uh, gilded, but it's a buckle of some sort. It's probably brass. But still, pretty nice. Gonna keep going with this hot spot. Got another wheat scent here. It's 
still in the trail in this hot spot. No clue what this is, and I just found something else right by it. But it looks like a rose, maybe a button of some sort. Gonna have to clean it up, see what it is. Found another ring-like object over here. We hit a hot spot. This is great. Just found another mercury dime and uh, these three brass knickknacks. Oh, and he just found a penny. Let's see. Weedy. Let's see. That's a nice one. That looks like it was just minted. <laughs> well, not quite. <laughs> it was not that side, but it's got yeah. the color. It has a nice, yeah. See, it's, all these old things are washing up right here. This place is, this place is dope. Jonathan just found something really cool. Yeah, I have Let no me see. idea. It's round like a coin, but it's... Oh, and heavy. Yeah, it's a little heavy, but just trying to clean it wow, up. Wow, look at, look at the... Yeah, I have no idea. It what could, is that? Maybe it's a pendant or something that with the top broken. I don't know. I gotta clean it up there. That is amazing. Look at this. I wonder how old this is. This goes back to the Dutch days. I see Does a K it? and I see a crown. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty damn cool. <laughs> you might have found something really seriously old. And 14. That says 14 right there. 1-4. Huh. You're right. I okay. Gotta, I'm going to clean this up and get a close-up at home. That's amazing. I have no idea what this is. So the history of this ground goes back to the 1700s. He might have just found his oldest thing. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do some research now. <laughs> it, it is heavy, I didn't. Just found a bent uh, wheat scent. Oh, and a key and another brass knickknack. Something ring-shaped. Another thing ring-shaped. Look at this. This place is too amazing. What the hell is this? And another pendant. Oh my god, I found another silver pendant. Another pendant? Yeah, live. And another ring, uh, ring thing. Yeah, let's get this in the light. Yeah, this is a religious pendant. This is definitely silver. And that's of the same type of the other one that you found. Same type as the other one. Yeah, here. Man, we're finding some good stuff now. It's all right. Got a buckle, got a ring, and what is this? Something with a very weird shape. Yours definitely had more detail. I might have found something old. I'm going to borrow this oh, for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that say? It's something I'm going to have to clean. But it's got details. Yeah. Got some cool old brass. This is true, true mud larking right here. We're in the mud and we are larking. Larking like crazy. Founding round objects. That's another cool one. This is definitely, definitely an old pocket knife. Very cool. We got problems. Tides are coming in. All right, just grab my detector, and it is crunch time. We got the tides moving in. Got numerous silvers today, I think five. And uh, now it's crunch time. So we got to look for round objects like this and look around before these tides kick us out of here. Just got a beaten up penny that you could literally see through. Another key and some other interesting knickknacks. This might be a classic piece of jewelry. There it is. As you can see, I'm sinking, so uh, a tide is chasing me out. I'm going to go back to the shore. There's a horse bone. Back to bottle land. So now I have uh, experience being a metal detectorist and 
a mudlark and I, I just want to uh, put forward an observation man your eyes get tired of looking your brain gets tired of looking um, there is a uh, intensity to the task that you have to be on and you can't drift into a daydream you know metal detecting you, you wait for that beep and you see a beep and you dig it but here look at this that's very cool I would have missed that if I wasn't focusing that's beautiful <clears throat> nice uh, bottle top that's uh, fully intact so I'm gonna keep that one okay this was quite the day we did seven hours of detecting and uh, you know our pockets are full leaving dead horse which uh, we wound up spending more time at than uh, the original place Arvern East but uh, I, I got what I wanted to know out of it uh, I intend to go back but uh, dead horse is just too hot right now there's just so much good stuff and uh, it just keeps pulling me back Hey, so we just got out of Dead Horse Bay and this is our finds from for everything today from Avern East and Dead Horse Bay. So we'll start with this collection of keys because it's I guess the most prominent <laughs> piece. This is both uh, things that Merrill and I found. He's given me the keys to add to the collection. Um, I also found a button and something that seems like a button. Uh, one of these marbles Merrill found, the other one I did. Um, I think the best finds for today are some of the coins. So this is mercury merc nice and this little coin with a crown and a k and i'll flip it over for you so you can see the back if anybody knows what it is let us know because i am at a loss it has a 14 on the back that's pretty awesome there's uh three wheat pennies and a bunch of regular chains dime nickel other pennies love that buckle too oh yeah that buckle that was the first thing i found out uh, um when we came out here pretty awesome all right I don't know where to begin over here um, stick with the key theme got a skeleton key without the bottom would have been nice if it had the bottom um, glass bottle thingy that plugs topper. it <laughs> topper yep um, this might be decorative jewelry not sure it's got copper that's coming out from a design in the center um, in terms of coins got the barber half I've never even found a barber quarter that, that was the shock of the day and uh, that made the Arvern East trip worth it um, also from Arvern East um, there was a Canadian wheat penny that's somewhere in here um, found a bunch of wheats um, got two mercuries yeah these two and nickel regular nickel this miter might not be silver um, that was also found, Arvern East. Um, got these two uh, religious charms. Charms is the wrong word. Pendants. Um, those are pretty cool. Another buckle here. Two marbles. Got rings. Um, I don't... They're obviously not the uh, type that you find at the beach and celebrate, but... They were pretty cool. Um, various other things, a pocket knife. This thing, it's got a design to it down here. Not quite sure what it is. Looks like a big clothespin. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, all right. Buckles. Got, buckles oh yeah, buckles. Got the buckle section one. over here. Yep. Sweet. So that's a wrap. Oh yeah, and we have this stuff in here. This also was our Vern East. That was quite a day, seven hours. Yeah. Got a lot of work. Lots of stuff. <laughs> Lots of stuff, that was pretty cool.